Hey everybody, welcome back to the RGR Football Channel on YouTube. My name is Daniel Harms. I'm doing another film review here for you guys. And for those of you that are new, make sure you're hitting that sub, the bell notification, and all the like buttons helps us out, helps you guys trying to figure out when things are gonna drop for, for the channel, and you know, it just helps everyone all around. So please go ahead and do all those things. And we're gonna jump right into it. And I think that the biggest thing I wanna cover is the Chiefs issues on third down in this game. So we're gonna just watch this play right here. So this is the very first third down that Chiefs had in the entire game. And what they're gonna do to my eye is kind of clear out for Le'Veon Bell. Le'Veon Bell is running just a flare to the flat. And you know, you've got Demarcus Robinson just running go route to the end zone. A Tyree Kill is gonna run this, this kind of a wheel route here. And so that's gonna one, confuse the linebackers and who's got who. It's gonna maybe create a couple pick plays with guys trying to cover Tyreek going to the flat and then up the field and Byron Pringle right here is just going to kind of run like a hesitation and curl at the five yard line kind of try to get in the way of some of defenders trying to guard you know Le'Veon Bell Tyreek Hill maybe he can get a get a block or whatnot Travis Kelsey is just kind of running a drag right across the field <laughs> excuse me so this is the drawn up play in my opinion and what's going to happen obviously you're going to see what's going to happen and then we're going to break it down so obviously Mahomes wants to get the football out to Le'Veon Bell quickly but Bradley Chubb makes that impossible to do he gets there way too quick Le'Veon Bell doesn't get his head around completely and then it's a broken play and then it's a sack on third down so when I was watching I attribute a lot of the success that the Broncos had in third down to Vic Fangio. He took advantage of a lot of the Chiefs' empty protections. And what that basically means is that when you're in essentially empty, there's no one else to block except for the first five on offensive linemen. The running back is going out for a route. There's no tight end attached. So you got five guys to block for your quarterback. So what we're going to see here is the typically – on a blitz as an offensive line, you want to identify the linebacker that doesn't have a job, okay? So 45 does not have anyone in the screen he could be covering. I think Travis Kelsey has a, a defensive back on him, currently on the right side of the field. So you think 45 is coming. He's three yards off the line of scrimmage, so he's blitzing. You've obviously got the, the end. You have the defensive tackle, this defensive tackle, and you know, Bradley Chubb here. So what they're going to do with 47 is they're going to kind of run, kind of just inch him up towards the, off the offensive line a little bit. And he could be covering Le'Veon Bell out of the backfield, but what's going to end up happening is he's going to blitz. And that's going to put Eric Fisher in a predicament because they, they, what they think is they've got five other guys coming already. So that means that there's a sixth guy and he doesn't know who he's going to have to block whether it's going to be 55 or 47. So you've got blocked. He's going to come around here, here, you know, here. So you have four other offensive linemen that already have a job, per se, to block. So in his mind, when he sees 47, he initially steps at Bradley Chubb because he doesn't know the blitz is coming. So when he sees him, he has to make that understanding that when you have a blitzer coming that's closer than that defensive end, that's the guy you have to take first. You have to take the closest guy to the quarterback in empty protections. That means that he's got more, you know, essentially more distance to travel to get to the quarterback than this blitzing linebacker coming down to this, this B gap. So that's what ends up happening. But I want you to just watch 45 because this is where Vic Fangio took advantage of it because he ends up dropping instead. He's going to rush down and he's going to drop in between Patrick Mahomes and Travis Kelsey to try to take away that quick throw on third and three. So this is just, it's really well done by Vic Fangio, scheming this type of pressure and, and execution from the defense and forcing the Chiefs offense to not only think that there are six, you know, six guys coming, but end up getting the sack because they, they screwed up with that. They screwed with that you know, um, communication there. So it's a really good job by Vic Fangio on multiple thirds, third downs using the same kind of blitz packages and pressure schemes to get after the offensive line and their, their empty protections because the Chiefs don't like to use running backs and tight ends to block very much on third down. Now, not all of it was, unfortunately, because of Vic Fangio. If it was, that would be one thing. You could just chalk it up to him being really, really good at what he does. But not only he's not always going to blitz on third down. He does understand that Patrick Mahomes eventually will find the issues with blitzing. So what we're going to see here 
is McCall Hardman and Tyreek Hill are just running straight goes into the end zone. Travis Kelsey is running just, just a hitch route here. Um, Deion Yelder is running just kind of to the pylon there. And then Clyde edwards is just going to – well, first he's going to come over here and then kind of go back this way. So the issue that I have with this play is you have Tyree Kill and McCall Hardman essentially running a clear out. So this entire space of the field is going to be open. You don't have to get a touchdown. And Travis Kelsey doesn't really work to it, as you're going to see here. He just kind of stops in the middle of the field. And that's going to force Mahomes to find a way to be special, to get outside the pocket and try to create something out of nothing, which he does very well. But again, yours, this is what I'm talking about. Just this, this space you can work with here. But there's a lot of it to go around. But unfortunately, you know, Mahomes does get out of the pocket. He finds a window in between two defenders for Clyde edwards Alaire and doesn't come down with it. So a lot of offensive execution also played into their issues on third down. They came into this game uh, number three in the NFL on third down, if I recall correctly, in with over a 51% con conversion rate. So that's really, really good. And the Broncos held them to 0 for 8 on the day. So they, they had some some issues with execution, trying to figure out you now Vic Fangio's thing. And that's the kind of thing I want to show really quickly. We're going to slow it down just so you can see this, this window that Mahomes is going to find. I'm going to try to find it really quickly for you. So he's running at the goal line or at the, uh, um, the sticks. So look at this. Look where he throws this football and look at the defender in relation to Clyde Edwards Hilaire. Like how did this window, he's going to like throw it right behind the ear of that that covers flying packer and i just fortunately he just doesn't get all of it man this would have been a sick sick touchdown and it's so you can see how upset he is after the play is over he just like sits there for a minute i mean mahomes does some absolutely crazy things but you know it's not always going to end up i don't think he really knew that the uh i don't know if clyde knew the ball was coming to be honest with you uh, so we're going to go into the actually the run touchdown from Clyde edwards Hilaire. And I want to break down just, again, how good he is at making guys do what he wants them to do. And then, again, more of that contact balance that we've seen. So one thing I want you to, to take note of is right here. Pre-snap, Brian Pringle is coming from right to left that's going to bring a defender from right to left as well and then what the chiefs are going to do is they're going to take travis kelsey where's my draw here there we go and he's going to come as a what they call a sniffer just a block down right here so you as a defense assume that with the jet sweep motion you're subtracting a defender from one side of the field to the other and then adding an extra blocker to that side and that's going to put this linebacker and this linebacker in, in a little bit of a confusion because what? So we're, we're going to go ahead and just run it through a little bit here just so you can see what I'm talking about. And then we'll come back and there we go. Okay. So there's the motion from Byron Pringle. Oh, it's actually already in slow motion. There we go. So here, here's what I'm talking about. These linebackers are now trying to, to find out where the ball is going to go. They are so both leaning to their left because they assume that the ball is coming this way. And that's when, again, Clyde is so good at what he does. He keeps his shoulders square to the offensive line, and then he finds this gigantic B-gap with a great job of the, you know, blocking down from Eric Fisher, getting his hips, or his, uh, hips and his shoulders turned to wall off that defender. You know, Allegretti Kilgore just dismantled this defensive tackle. He's got no shot. And then this is how it creates a great, you know, so essentially taking out two defenders with one block, this double on defensive tackle. Now with that motion from uh, Travis Kelsey on the block from left to right forces this linebacker to come up too far. And now he's out of the play completely. That brings a safety down. And that's where you're going to see him continue to create some issues with the way he sees things and the way that he is able to, you know, stay on his feet. You know, we've got defenders hitting each other, and then he's just going to run into the end zone. Some of that grown man strength right there. So here's what I wanted to, to show really quickly. He's going to press this A-gap, which also forces this linebacker here, down here, forcing him down there, and then they have that double taking him out of the play completely. And again, he's going to force this safety 
who actually has the angle on him to think that he's going to come up this way where there is nobody. And again, force a missed tackle because he's, he knows what he wants to do, where he wants to put defenders. And in a snow game with this kind of elusiveness, you're going to have missed tackles all over the place. So, you know, this was just an absolutely excellent run, a great job up front from the offensive line blocking off in the pre-stat motion and motion after is just, it's really, really good, you know, a good example of using what you would essentially want to do by subtracting a defender and then adding a blocker in, against each other. So just really, really fun stuff there from Andy Reid. And then again, from Clyde Edwards to get in the end zone. So hope you guys enjoy this. And I can't wait to see what the Chiefs do to the Jets on, on Sunday. That's going to be something else. So make sure you tune into the channel for all of the film reviews that Ryan and I are going to do. Thanks, guys. Thanks for watching this video from the team at RGR Football. Click these videos to see more and subscribe to RGR Football.